Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, here I have my large rows. So my large rows and my extra large rows are going to be built the same way. So I'm only making one video. This video should cover both templates of the large and extra large rows. So to get started, you're going to need four cuts of the small round petal, four cuts of the second round petal, eight cuts of the heart-shaped petal, and then 12 cuts of the wavy shaped petal. So I already started by curling the petals for most of them. And I'm going to show you how to curl these last two petals that I didn't curl yet. So I'm just going to slide this and it's going to give you the fold. And I'm just going to make sure the fold is going downwards so that I don't assemble the rows the wrong way. Same thing with this, I'm just going to curl the sides. And then I'm going to flip it over again. So you're just going to do that for all the petals. The center pieces, the eight center pieces, you want to leave the fold upwards. And the heart and wavy shaped petal, you want the folds to be downwards. So to start, we're going to use the smaller pieces. And we're going to place glue on the tails here. And then we're going to line up from end to end, basically. And glue, in, glue them on top of each other. I'm going to repeat the same step for the, the last two pieces of the small one and then the four pieces of the larger circle petal or larger round petal, sorry. So now that these are glued into bow ties, we're going to just glue the, them together to make a cross. So now we're going to start with the smaller piece of the cross and the two petals that are on the inside, we're going to bring them up and push them down like this. So it'll be kind of like a four-sided pyramid. And then we're going to glue the tabs down. Now I'm going to place glue on the opposite sides of the opposite petals. Just the, the top part here. I'm going to bring them together and I'm going to glue them together like so. Making the gap slightly bigger than the previous layer. Now we're just going to glue this piece onto the larger piece.
And then we're going to do the same thing with gluing the petals together. Leaving more gap than the previous layer. And then for the last two petals, you want to put glue on both sides. Now this is your bud completed. It should look something like this. And now we're going to start with the heart-shaped pieces. I'm going to, with the petals bent downwards, I'm going to curl the tail up, or not curl, but I'm going to fold the tail upwards. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next uh, petal size up. Now I'm back to the heart shape and I'm going to glue this tail onto the bud. I want to line it up as best as I can in the middle. And when you glue it, you want to cover up the seams here and do the same thing for the other side. Now I'm going to place glue on the bottom here, about one inch. I'm going to Using my thumb, I'm going to push it downwards and my hand pushing the flaps upward. I'm going to now keep it bent with my other hand and I'm pinching it upwards to the bud. Leaving a gap between the petal and the bud. I'm going to repeat the same steps for the next side. Now I'm going to glue on the next two pieces. And then once again, I'm going to glue the bottom. And then pinch it upwards to the bud. So for the next layer, I'm going to complete the rest of this heart-shaped petal and I'm going to put it in a cross and then I'm going to start on the next layer which is the wavy petals and the largest petal size I'm going to put it into an X and then I'm going to repeat this process of placing it in a cross and an X until all the petal layers are completed. And that should be all the heart pieces. And now we're going to start with the wavy pieces. And as I mentioned earlier, we're, go we're going to put it in an X.
and there is my completed large rose. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful.